Hello, Horde, and welcome to Vaults with John. Wow, it's been a while since we've been on Vaults. Um, I've been waiting until the latest update. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, uh, who don't follow the Vaults, uh, there is a new update coming out soon, um, but it's um, not recommended yet because it does have a few bugs. Um, it's Vaults 3.1.2, I think. That sounds right. Uh, they released 3.1.1 and people started having uh, lots of problems, it started crashing, um, so um, they had to put it back to 2.4. Uh, I'm going to be showing you 3.1.2. Um, uh, anything that happens on my game, I'll tell you, so if it crashes after I use something, I'll make sure to tell you. Um, every time I do one of these videos, um, it means it's been okay. Uh, this is a single player world, just to let you know, so anything that happens in this world, I can't guarantee will um, work correctly on a multiplayer server, because obviously this is, although 3.1.2 is the latest vaults, uh, it's not recommended yet, because it does have a few bugs. Uh, when it does crash, it does permanently crash, so you can't reload it, so make sure that every, uh, if you follow these sessions uh, each time, uh, make sure that you back it up, and basically, just go into your .techit folder, you just go into your files, type, type .techit, you'll find it, um, look for your vaults, just basically copy this work, your current world, just to have a backup. Okay, without me rambling on, I'll explain what has changed in vaults. Okay, so 2.4 had mechanism. Uh, and, well, the latest vaults has removed mechanism. Mechanism basically was everything to do with energy. Uh, wind turbines to solar panels um, to, like... Um, lava, uh, lava light heaters that made um, and hydrogen pumps, stuff like that. Uh, all hydrogen generators, sorry, uh, stuff like that have all been removed. So, uh, what have it been replaced? Well, it's been replaced with something called uh, resident uh, I think industry or something like that. Induction, I think it is. Um, and, well, basically, resident induction uh, basically has um, one um, set power. Which means, um, for all the four uh, like engines, it will always create 80 uh, watts. The only difference is different items will last for longer. So, although uh, a sludge bucket makes the same amount of energy as a fuel bucket, the sludge bucket only lasts uh, for 40,000, uh, 14,000, whereas the fuel bucket lasts for um, 1,500,000, uh, 1, which is insane. Uh, this is the order of which... Um, these are the items create power. So these are the crappiest ones. They're under 100. They're 100. That's 200. That's 300. They're 400. They're a bit over actually. So even though, um, so these are like in order as also um, in the same order as uh, how powerful they are. So the bio, uh, the block of co uh, coal coat is actually less than the uh, biomass, but it's only by like a few. Um, uh, tens of thousands, so that might be 30, uh, that might be 430, uh, whereas that's 450, so it's not a big difference. Uh, these are all 500, I think Mob Essence is 504, uh, that's 600, that's 700, that's uh, 1 million, and that's um, uh, 1,500,000. So these are all the different things and how to power them. Although, even though you can use all these power machines, they work in different ways. Um, so, for example, the one I'm going to show you today is Steam. Uh, the Steam, um, I think it's Steam Dynamo. Uh, the Steam Dynamo doesn't use any of these buckets. It only uses uh, charcoal, coal, coal, and these two blocks. So you can use either of them five resources, but you can't use the rest. Um, I've only put this uh, chest here so that you can understand how power works and what are better ones. So obviously... Uh, better ones are obviously these two, but they're in a different machine, which is a bit more complex. Um, so for now, we're going to make a steam dynamo. Uh, so how do you make a steam dynamo? First, you need a copper gear. To make a copper gear, you need copper and uh, you need copper and iron. So it's called, this is resident engine, but it's actually resident. It's just basically anything resident seems to be uh, this mod. Uh, so you put a piece of iron in the middle uh, to the top, bottom left, and right. Uh, put any type of copper makes your copper gear. 
the copper gear didn't crash it, so copper gear is fine. Next, you're going to make uh, an induction coil. I think it is redstone induction coil. Uh, so you make this with silver and redstone. So redstone in the bottom left hand corner and redstone in the top right hand corner and a silver mi uh, silver ingot right in the middle uh, makes your redstone transmission coil, not reception coil, sorry. Now finally, to make the, your steam dynamo, you need the redstone transmission coil at the top, uh, copper, two copper gears, three um, copper and a piece of redstone. I'm going to show you how this works. Now, once I've made it, so you need copper in the bottom right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner. Then right in the center you also need copper. And then the bottom center you need redstone to the top left, uh, to the top, to the bottom, uh, to the middle, sorry, uh, left and right you need copper gear. And in the top center you need a redstone transmission coil makes your steam dynamo. I'm just going to place the steam dynamo here. Okay, so that's your steam dynamo. The steam dynamo requires two resources. It requires something to burn and water. Uh, for those of you who don't understand uh, how power stations work, it's basically like a power station. Power stations burn coal, uh, but they have coolers uh, so that, that obviously um, heat the water and turn it into steam and uh, they create power using steam turbines. Um, so yeah, it's basically like that. Now, once you've created that, you need uh, something to uh, transport the power around. So cables, because obviously universal energy isn't in this anymore. So to make cables, you need a piece of glass in the center. To the left and right of the glass, you need uh, lead ingots. To the left and right of the glass, you need le red, uh, lead ingots. Then to the bottom, on the bottom row and the top row, you need redstone. Make sure le leadstone energy conduit. Now this is the easiest conduit to make. It's also the crappiest. I'm showing you this because you don't actually need any um, crazy machines yet. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty straightforward uh, to make and it doesn't require uh, too much messing around. Uh, no, sorry, this one. Now next you're going to need uh, something, uh, you need opaque fluid ducts. You can make normal fluid ducts, but you need hardened glass and uh, you need special machines and stuff for that. I'm going to show you that later day. Uh, not today, I'm gonna, I thought I'd start off easy because uh, for those of you who play vaults, and you've updated your worlds, you'll notice that you've got no power now. So straight away, you need power. So this um, is the fluid duct, and it's opaque. So you just need lead in the center and copper to the left and copper to the right. Make sure fluid duct opaque. Fluid ducts are gonna you're going to use to transport water because um, the steam dynamo uh, requires a constant input of water so that it works. So I'm going to be putting basically a basic system together where this creates power, and water pumps into it, and uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to fill this up with power uh, water so that it has uh, it can actually um, start. So basically, you just right click um, with water buckets, and it will fill up slightly. Uh, oops, uh, there we go. So it's filled up. It, water buckets are a thousand each, uh, and that's how it creates power. Now you also need, like I said, uh, one of these um, type of resources: charcoal, coal, coal coke. Are the blocks, which are basically these uh, coal and coal coking, and I'm uh, a three by three. Um, they actually do create more power, but uh, sometimes it's a lot of faffing. So I'll show you how to like automate sort of like a machine that makes them. I'll also later on show you um, farms and stuff to uh, gather a lot of charcoal because obviously you're gonna need tree farm, burn it. I'll also show you uh, automatic mining and as well as um, I'll teach you railcraft so you can make coal coke. But for now. Uh, just mine up some coal, and uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'm trying to keep it simple to start with, uh, just so it's less confusing. Now you're going to need a mining pump. A mining pump is actually a really old one. Uh, for those of you who've played Tech It before, it's just basically that thing that you used to use in like the start of Tech It, uh, which basically pumps up water. This is the easiest and cheapest way of creating, um, uh, to supply it with water. So first you're going to need a mining, a miner. And then you're going to need a tank. So I'm going to take both of these because I can't be bothered going back and forward. So first, to make your miner, you need your iron pick. You need an iron pick at the bottom center. To the top center, you need a piece of redstone. Uh, in the left-hand column and the right-hand column of the crafting table, you need iron. And right in the center, you need an iron gear. Iron gears are basically wood gears, which are just four sticks. Uh, did I show you? I'm not actually going to show you because it's a bit boring. Uh, 
Uh, basically, it's just wood sticks there, there, uh, top, bottom, left and right. And then once you've made the wooden gear, you surround that wooden gear uh, to the top, bottom, left and right with um, stone. And then the stone gear with iron, uh, if you forgot that recipe. Now I'm going to show you how to make a tank. Tanks are basically uh, a chest made out of glass. So um, a by basically a three by three grid of glass without the center one makes your tank. And finally, to make the mining, uh, to make the pump, sorry. Um, build craft pump, you need to put the tank on top of the mining well in your crafting table or your inventory and that makes the uh, mining pump. Now I'm going to set up a system really quickly um, with a few more resources because I'm going to need to get a bit more lead and stuff so that I can put a cool system up and I'm going to show you how you can create your first bit of power. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay, so this is a system that I set up uh, using uh, the stuff I just taught you. Uh, just ignore this part here for now. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so this is what you do. Uh, the pump that you've created, um, your Billcraft pump that you just created, make sure it's over um, some sort of pool, uh, some sort of infinite water pool. Uh, to make an infinite water pool, if you've um, if some you forgot, um, you basically just put a 2x2 two two, um pull down our three by three and place it over it. Make sure that it's only one deep because if it's too deep, it won't um, replenish and it won't, um, you know, carry, uh, make in, uh, continuous, um, that, that's not it. Uh, it won't make uh, infinite water, sorry. Okay, so what you do is you hook this up like this. You put your pump over an infinite water source. Then make sure that the top of the steam dynamo, uh, the wire is, uh, Attached so the energy con the energy conduit is attached to the top of the steam dynamo because um, that is um, Where power comes out uh, whichever side I don't know if it can actually be orientated to the side it probably can uh, With a wrench or something, but just make sure that the conduit is touching the top part of um, the pumpy thing the uh, steam dynamo so basically you see that like um, Like sticky out part because that's gonna pump and create power then make sure that it's touching um, the Billcraft pump. It doesn't matter which side it's pumping. Okay, then uh, what you do then is also attach uh, your fluid ducts um, to, from the pump to the steam dynamo. Because as soon as this starts creating power, it will um, uh, allow the pump to uh, push water out. And that zombie's going to kill me probably. Um, so I can carry on talking whilst that's happening. So what's going to happen is the pump, I'm going to stick some coal in and I put click, uh, put two water buckets in, uh, three water buckets in before as you can remember. Um, so then I'm just going to stick the coal in and it will power it. Okay, I'm back again after being killed by them zombies. Uh, okay, so like I was saying, you need to make sure that um, the pump is over an infinite water source. Obviously, infinite water source, a quickly recap, uh, has to be uh, only one deep or it won't... Um, continues to keep creating the water source. Uh, it won't keep uh, respawning. Uh, now the pump needs to be over it and as soon as the pump's over it, uh, this little like thing will extend into the water. Now you need to make sure the top of the pump, so basically this like nodule uh, of the pump, uh, of the dynamo, sorry, is attached uh, with K is connecting with cables um, to um, your pump and your other machines as well, because obviously this cable needs to make sure it's touching. Uh, then, uh, you need to make sure that the fluid duct uh, is connected from the pump to your steam dynamos. Um, uh, to Because obviously the water will travel out of that. If you don't have uh, some sort of way of pumping it out, nothing will be created because the pump itself doesn't have an interface. So if you left... Uh, oh shit. Uh, so if you... Um, uh, if you right click, sorry, you won't be able to um, access it. So water might be pump being pumped by it, but until you connect it, nothing will be pumped out. Okay, so that's explained. How you do it is start off by putting a few water buckets in like I did earlier. Then stick some coal or charcoal in. Then this will fill up with steam. This will create power. And uh, although it doesn't look like it's pumping, it actually is. Obviously, uh, stuff like forestry, it shows you the animation. This one doesn't. Probably to, it's, that's actually probably a really good thing because uh, it probably creates lag. I've been moving um, uh, machines. So it clearly shows that it's turned on because it's brightly lit. Now, as you can see, power is going in here. So it's going in, and then as soon as this uh, starts, power seat starts. Uh, as soon as power starts going in here, 
uh, fluid will start uh, traveling along the fluid duct. Then it'll go into here and this will continuously fill up. If I stay here long enough, you might see it go down and straight back up. Uh, I'm not actually seeing that, but you know, uh, obviously it had 300, uh, 3000 before and now it's fully um, to the top. It's full to the top. Okay, so what I've done now is what you can do is you can just keep the system like it is. You can, so how you would do it is you basically set a system like this and then you would had, have another cable coming off and you would pray, uh, you'd place your machines on this cable and it probably has enough power to power about one or two, maybe even three machines. But you could also use this system, ha, um, as I have, um, as one just basically pumping station. So if I connect this up now, all this power, all these machines are being powered. And um, water is going into all these very quickly. I've already put coal in. So how, how this system works now is this one, this steam dynamo here, uh, powers these three pumps. These three pumps create water for these two. Uh, which can, uh, which when put co you put coal in, will basically power all your machines without losing any. So basically, that system there um, is powering the that one there is powering the pumps, where these two can now power the machines. So you basically could have this one, uh, this steam dynamo on its own, um, making uh, powering loads and loads of pumps, which are filling these up with water. Uh, on the other hand, you could uh, just basically just connect uh, the fluid duct uh, to. Uh, all these pumps as well. Uh, so instead of having these two extra pumps pumping loads of water in, uh, you could basically just connect the fluid up straight into the other two steam um, dynamos and just have their wire not touching the rest. Uh, hopefully that's easy to explain uh, and easy to understand. The reason why I've done this is because so water can quickly replenish this. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's straightforward and very easy. Uh, the only thing I probably haven't covered in this video, which accidentally happened, is how to turn death points off. I haven't learned that, learned that yet. Okay, uh, so that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, one thing I'm going to point out is power doesn't go very well so far, uh, meaning it doesn't convert well. If I can fix it, I'll show you how to. Uh, but for now, uh, there is uh, I don't actually know how to um, convert other power into... Um, you know, RF and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, this system that uh, you see here works because it all runs on the same power. Um, basically, what this is, is... Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, it does work fine. Oh, doesn't matter. Uh, so, basically, um, some of the power um, converters in this don't work. And they've actually crashed my game before. Uh, whilst I'm trying to uh, slide out. So, but... That aside, this system here works. So make sure you use the right pumps for now and uh, the ste uh, and the right uh, stuff. Other cables and other conduits obviously will work. Other fluid ducts and other conduits will work. But for now, I haven't actually tested the other pumps, so I can't be sure if they will work together. So yeah, thanks for watching. If I learn how to turn death points off, I'll also tell you how to do that. Uh, but for now, I don't actually know because obviously if I press M, it shows you a massive um, picture of the Earth. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like your favorite if you enjoyed vaults. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Uh, and comment to see if you're enjoying this um, series back. Um, this is pro probably one of my uh, channel's most popular series. Uh, because not a lot of people cover vaults because it is quite complicated. But I'll make sure I try and cover as much as I can without turning off this time. Because obviously last time I stopped. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try and get these out regular. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.